Hi, I'm Coach Lou Sagastume. Check out my two stars, Dono and Jonesy. They will show you a few techniques and how to become more skillful with a ball. You don't need a soccer field to practice. You can do it in the garage, the backyard, and if mom lets you, your family room. Make sure you move those breakables, however, out of the way, just in case your peg leg has a bad touch. This tape is designed to help young soccer players learn fundamental moves to improve their soccer game. Contrary to popular opinion, you do not need a soccer field to practice the game of soccer. As you will see, many moves can be practiced in the comfort of your home. Session one will give you some moves to work on to familiarize yourself with using your feet to move a ball around on the ground. Ten moves are described and you should stop the tape and practice on your own after watching the demonstration. Start by working on the move slowly, then try and work your speed up to match demanding speed. Ringing the bell. Start with the ball between your legs and work on passing the ball from one foot to the other. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Toe tap. Again, start with the ball between your legs and tap your toes on top of the ball in an alternating fashion. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Pulling the ball around the bell. Start by ringing the bell and then pull the ball backward with the front part of the bottom of your foot in a circle around the outside of the bell. Make sure you alternate and pull the ball with both left and right feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Paying homage to the ball. Again, start by ringing the bell. Then pull the ball back and keep moving your foot further back in order to drop your knee down and touch the ball with the front part of your knee. Make sure you touch the ball with the lower part of the knee. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The V. Start by pulling the ball towards you with the front part of the bottom of your foot. Then catch the ball with the inner side of the same foot and push it in the opposite direction, forming the letter V. Again, work on this move with both feet, using the same foot to both pull and push the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The alternate V. This move is performed by using both feet. Pull the ball with one foot, then guide the ball with the inside of the opposite foot, creating a V once again. Work on this move with both feet, using the opposite feet to pull, then push the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The fake V. Start by pulling the ball towards you, then catch it with the outside portion of the top of the same foot and push it back in the same direction it came from. Work on this move with both feet, using the same foot to both pull and push the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The alternate fake V. Much like the alternate V, this move uses both feet to move the ball. Pull the ball back with one foot, then catch it with the inside of the opposite foot and push it back in the same direction it came from. Again, it's important to work on this and all moves in both directions using both feet. 
Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The Behind the Leg V. Start by pulling the ball toward you, then catch it with the inside of the same foot and push it forward in the opposite direction behind the standing leg. Keep your weight on the standing leg and this move will be easier to accomplish. Again, practice this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The Self-Made Meg. Start by ringing the bell. Then stop the ball with the bottom of one foot and pull it in front of your body from one side to the other. With the ball in motion, step over it with the opposite foot and spin your body around to catch the ball with the inside of the same foot that originally pushed it. Work on this move to both sides. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Session 2 will give you some more advanced moves to work on, helping you familiarize yourself with using your feet to move a ball around on the ground. These 10 moves are described and you should stop the tape and practice on your own after watching the demonstration. Start by working on the move slowly, then try and work your speed up to match demanding speed. Rolling the ball between your feet. Roll the ball from one side to the other in front of the body by pulling it with one foot. Then step over the ball with the rolling foot and catch it with the inside of the opposite or non-rolling foot. Work on this move in both directions using both feet to pull the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The V with a lift. This move adds on to the V move by adding a lift. Pull the ball toward you with one foot, then slide that same foot underneath the ball and lift it with the inside top of the foot. Lift it in the opposite direction, thus again creating the V. This move must be lifted high enough to go over the opponent's foot in order to be useful. Be sure and work on the move using both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The fake V with a lift. This move adds on to the fake V move by adding a lift. Pull the ball toward you with one foot, then slide that same foot underneath the ball and lift it with the outside top of the foot. Lift it back in the same direction it came from. To be effective again, this move must be lifted high enough to go over the opponent's foot in order to be useful. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. the heel to toe fake. This move is important to give you some time to make a decision on the field of play. Start rolling the ball with the back part of the inside of the foot close to the heel and roll the ball all along the inside of the foot, flicking it in the opposite direction with the toe, setting it across your body. Make sure to make use of the entire foot and bring your foot around the perimeter of the ball, flicking it with your toe. In this move, the knee and the ankle point in the same direction at all times. This move is used to get the ball away from a defender, and the next touch should come using the outside of the opposite foot in order to protect and screen the ball. Work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The heel to toe reverse. Begin with the heel to toe fake move flicking the ball in the opposite direction. But instead of touching the ball with the outside of the opposite foot, step over the ball with the kicking foot and touch it with the outside of the same foot, sending it back in the original direction. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Quick feet. Start by rolling the ball directly away from you and then circle the ball with your feet in an inside to outside motion. This move can be used in a game to create a misdirection. Circle the ball a few times, then pulling or pushing it in the opposite direction. Now stop the tape and try this on your own.
the Lino move. This move is named for a Brazilian player who developed it and used it to perfection in the 1970 World Cup. This is similar to the quick feet move, but the circling of the ball starts from the outside and moves around toward the inside. Again, this move is used in a game to create a misdirection, trying to fake your opponent out of position. This move can vary, circling it a few times before pulling or pushing it in the opposite direction to overtake the opponent. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Around the world. Start by rolling the ball forward with one foot, then bring the other foot around the ball similar to the Rivellino move. Then pivot 180 degrees on the foot that went around the ball and touch the ball forward with the inside of the opposite foot. This move seems complicated at first, but with a little work it should come easily. Be sure and work on it with both feet circling the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. We'll close this session with two moves to use against the pressure of an opponent. Lace backward chop. With the ball rolling away from you, curve your foot around the front of the ball and chop it backward with the laces of your foot. Then the next touch should be with the outside of the back foot in the opposite direction, so as to keep the ball from your opponent. Be sure and work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Heel backward chop. Again with the ball rolling away from you, instead of curving your foot around the ball, bring your foot around the ball and send it backward with the heel of your foot behind the standing leg. The next touch should again be with the outside of the opposite leg in the other direction. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Session 3 will give you some moves to work on to familiarize yourself with lifting the ball off the ground. Ten moves are described and you should stop the tape and practice on your own after watching the demonstration. Start by working on the moves slowly, then try and work your speed up to match demanding speed. Pulling the ball onto the same foot. Pull the ball backward with the bottom of your foot then slide the same foot underneath the ball in order to lift it into the air. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Pulling the ball onto the opposite foot. Pull the ball backward with the bottom of your foot, then slide the inside of your opposite foot underneath the ball in order to lift it in the air. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Pulling the ball up the outside of the leg. Start with the ball between your legs. Pull the ball with one foot up the back of your standing leg. Then with the ball halfway up your leg, hit the ball with your foot to make it bounce. Then turn around and catch the ball. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Pulling the ball up the inside of the leg. Start with the ball between your legs. Pull the ball with one foot up the inside of the standing leg. Then, with the ball halfway up your leg, hit the ball downward with the heel of the foot to make it bounce. Turn and catch the ball. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Squeeze up. Start with the ball between your legs. 
point your toes inward and raise up on your heels, chopping the ball into the air. Catch the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The J lift. Pull the ball toward your standing leg and lift the ball with the inside toe of the standing leg. Catch the ball. Again, as always, practice these moves using both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The knee bounce lift. Pull the ball on the laces of your foot, then lift it to knee level with the laces. Bring your knee down on the ball in order to make it bounce up. Be sure and bend your opposite knee in order to put enough pressure on the ball to send it high enough in the air. Catch the ball. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The Little Rainbow Lift. This move is similar to the J lift, but instead start with the ball between your legs. Pull the ball up the inside of your standing leg, then jump and use the standing foot to kick the ball into the air. Catch the ball. The Full Rainbow Lift uses a harder kick, sending the ball over the head of your opponent. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Rainbow around the world. Start with the ball between your legs. Pull the ball up the inside of your leg. Pivot 180 degrees on the standing leg and catch the ball with the foot that pulled it up the leg. Work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. The outside lift. Start by having someone roll the ball toward you. Turn sideways to the ball and let it roll up the side of your foot, lifting it with the outside of the toe. Again, work on this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Session 4 will give you some moves to work on to familiarize yourself with juggling the ball, using your feet and body to move the ball around in the air. Eight moves are described and you should stop the tape and practice on your own after watching the demonstration. Start by working on the moves slowly, then try and work your speed up to match demanding speed. Juggling. This move is accomplished with the laces of the foot. Lock your ankle and let your knee do the work. Move the ball back and forth from foot to foot. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Catching the ball. While juggling the ball, make the ball come to a complete stop on the laces of your foot. Again, keep your ankle locked in an angle to hold the ball in position and let your knee move your leg to balance the ball. Be sure and let your leg give with the ball, giving the ball a soft surface to land on. Play catch with your feet, tossing the ball from foot to foot, making it come to a complete stop each time. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. playing catch with another player. You can also play catch with another player, tossing the ball back and forth, making sure to bring the ball to a complete stop each time, and alternate between right and left feet.
Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Around the moon. Start with the ball on the laces of your foot, then lift the ball to about knee level and circle the ball with the foot from the inside out before catching it on your laces again. Be sure to practice this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Paying homage around the moon. This move combines an earlier move with the around the moon move. Start with the ball in the laces of your foot. Then after lifting it to knee level, bring your knee down on the ball in order to make it bounce up. Be sure and bend your opposite knee in order to put enough pressure on the ball to send it high enough in the air. Then circle the ball from the inside out before catching it on your laces. Try and accomplish this move with both feet. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Upper body touches. Start by juggling the ball and then lift it high enough to touch it with your knees, head and shoulders. Try to move the ball around your body in one direction and then back in the other. Be sure to keep both feet and both sides of your body involved. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Follow the leader. This is a game you can play with another player, starting by juggling the ball and using different moves. One player does a move, then passes the ball to the other player, who repeats the same move and adds one to it. This process continues, adding moves each time until one player or the other misses a move. Then begin again. Now stop the tape and try this on your own. Freestyling. If another player isn't available, try to combine as many of the moves you've learned together by yourself. Keep the ball in control at all times and remember to use both feet.